All right, 10 years ago, the Apple iPhone went on sale. Let's talk about it now with Angelo Zeno, who covers Apple for CFRA Research. And Angelo, Apple stock is up over 700% over the past 10 years, largely due to the iPhone. Would you agree with that? Over 1 billion devices sold. Oh, absolutely. I mean, the iPhone has kind of been that once-in-a-generation type product. And, you know, what Steve Jobs did back then and his vision um, is really kind of come to fruition here over the last decade. And to see a company, you know, worth or generating north of you know, $230 billion in revenue every year with more than 60% of that revenue coming from the iPhone is absolutely phenomenal. And the iPhone is at the center of Apple's next big thing, the services space, which is a brand new stream of revenue for them. Walk us through that dynamic. Yeah, so when, when we look at um, the iPhone and we look at the services business, the services business now comprises for about 12 to 13% of the revenue on an annual basis. However, it's growing at about an 18% clip on a year-over-year -year basis. And that growth is really right now being driven um, specifically by the App Store. And if you kind of look at you know, what really drives the App Store performance, it's ongoing growth within that Apple installed base. So if we just look at the Apple installed base today at about 700 million units relative to just three years ago, which was just half that size, um, it kind of tells you really what's driving that services growth. And we continue to see so phenomenal performance there here in the coming and, years. And in terms of what Apple might look like 10 years from now, are we talking about a self-driving car? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're talking about self-driving cars. I mean, they're probably going to be more focused on making the components uh, within that car. But nonetheless, yes, self-driving cars. We're talking about um, foldable phones. Um, just probably two or three years from now. So there's a lot more innovation and excitement for Apple here in the coming years. And geographically, the next big growth area for, for Apple is China. Would you agree with that? Geographically, um, when we look at the last two to three years, I mean, clearly China has slowed a bit because of some of the, comp uh, the competitors that have emerged there. But yes, over the next year or two, we do expect China to be a big growth driver for Apple as well as India over time. And in terms of Apple's stock, I mean, any indication as to, to where things are headed in the coming years? Yeah, so our 12-month target price is $165. Um, and, you know, we base that on a fairly reasonable multiple, about 16 times earnings or a little less than 13 times on a net cash basis. So um, very attractively valued in our view. Well, it's certainly incredible what has happened to the world 10 years after the iPhone. Uh, Angela Zeno, thank you so much for coming by. All right. Thanks for having me. All right. I'm Scott Gam, and you're watching The Street.